But when the Mayflower turns north, a new crisis is set in motion. The ship's master cannot take us south. I've been promised nothing in New England. A confrontation over the legal basis for their colony. When we get to shore, we will use our own liberty, for none have power to command us. No one tries to command you. We must all work together. You offer us all, or we'll starve. I have come for my piece of land. I wish to claim it. We fought for seven years of agreement then. What did you say to your pious friend? This ship is too small for us, men. I beg thee, get back. Control your fancy. <laughs> my neighbor. <laughs> Thou art a proper name. There's a son, you broke traitor. Do not you insult my father. No. Greek. <laughs> mind thy temper, lad, and mind where thou pinnest us. You have willingly formed a partnership with us, and together we have elected our own governor. I did not vote for him. We have permission to set up a plantation under the auspices of the Virginia Company, not in New England. Well, the original intention was for them to make landfall around the mouth of the Hudson River. That's where their patent uh, said they were supposed to go. But uh, as it turned out, they made landfall well to the north. I am not saying otherwise, but without a job... Some of the passengers say that, well, if we're going to New England, we're not bound by any existing agreement, and we are going to do whatever we want. Your election is not based in law and will not hold on land. Only common law rules now. Not one of our families will survive this disunity. If you think we have no standing in law... We are willing to form new laws through a combination with you and your people. Such an act, signed by us now, might be as firm as any patent. And in some respects, more sure. I'm with you, sir. Observing some appearance of faction, it was thought good that we should combine together in one body and to submit to such government and governors as we should, by common consent, agree to make and choose. And so we set our hands to this. And by virtue hereof, to enact, constitute and frame such just and equal laws, ordinances, acts, constitutions and offices from time to time it shall be thought most meet and convenient for the general good of the colony, unto which we promise all due submission. What has come down to us as the Mayflower Compact was really only supposed to be a temporary um, expedient for holding their company together until they got proper legal support. The document by itself does not create democracy in the new world. What it does do is to create an elected authority to which they promise to give all due obedience.